Sri Sadhuvam said People want a living guru I suppose they expect him to show them the way to a living god Guru wants us to see ourselves as Brahman but we want to see brahman as a human form bhagwan always said that self alone is guru and that his body is unnecessary people say to me It is all right for you to say a living guru is unnecessary but you had a living guru to them i say that what i learned from my living guru is that a living guru is unnecessary and everyone else can learn the same if they study bhagwan's works and do a little manana reflection on their import unless you understand that self is guru even a living guru cannot help you most people who were with bhagwan did not get moksha because they did not want it bhagwan teaches us that sooner or later we must be satisfied with self so why not be satisfied with it now people think that the guru must be a person but guru is only the first person the real i within us not satisfied with this first person they go seeking a second person to be their guru our aim however should only be to get rid of even the first person our ego that is to drown our false personhood in self if bhagwan was a truly fit guru our real self when he was appearing as a body then he must also be a fit guru now but then he was with all his brahman's five aspects sat chit ananda nama rupa being 
consciousness bliss and name and form whereas he is now without nama roopa his false aspects and hence he shines unimpeded as pure sat chit ananda therefore his power is now infinite he always used to say that his body was veiling his true nature and that those that took that body to be guru would be disappointed now his body has gone and he has left us with no outward form to cling to so we have no alternative but to accept that i am alone is the guru i have found many disciples who have come to him after the passing of his body or more sincere and have clearer understanding than most of those who came earlier because they were fixated just on his physical form he now saves us from mistaking him to be the body so what advantage would we gain from going to other bodies who are reputed to be great mahatmas he has said that the greatest mahatma is within so why not forget those other mahatmas and abide peacefully as this mahatma our real self the purpose of the outer guru is to make us understand the need for self attention and to enkindle love for it in our heart a living person is of course not needed for that bhagwan's books serve the same purpose and he provides us with fellow devotees and other outer aids as and when necessary the environment or circumstances in which we live are provided by the guru who knows what the most suitable environment is for maturing us when we start trying to attend to the first person the guru within who is self will start working whenever we attend to i the guru's work is going on once we have been given a taste for self attention our love for it naturally increases and matures like the momentum of a rubber ball as it bounces down a flight of stairs